So before you go off and buy some organic pesticides, I want to show you all this because this is, I paid $15 for this bottle and it's one quart. So it's all, it's all organic. I want to show you all what this is, what's in this, what makes it organic. Yep, basically cooking oil, 96% of it. And the 4% is probably water. So I'm about to take this stuff back and go buy a quart of the same kind of oil on the grocery aisle for around $3 instead of paying $15. So now we're here back at the house and we got the uh, pure canola oil. What canola is is a hybrid from a rapeseed and uh, must mustard uh, greens it's a, a hybrid plant that produces seeds I'm guessing the seeds is where they get the oil from and I was also looking at this and on the other bottle of pesticides how it um, said you remember how it said 4% of something else I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing as this may contain traces of soil peanut and corn so that's probably what the other 4% is of the um, other pesticide that was looking at that I paid $15 for. I only paid $2.50 for this and I got 1.5 quarts. So that's not bad at all. I could go back and buy a ton more of these bottles and get so much more spray and it's all organic of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this together. Uh, Amber's going to be mixing this up. So this is a sprayer application. Uh, you just want to mix one cup of the um, canola oil into one gallon of water and that's it that's how the other directions was for the other kind too so and it looked the same so there's your fifteen dollar organic pesticide for like you know three dollars two dollars so much easier and uh it's supposed to help with mildew and a lot of other things. I'll also leave some links below uh, and y'all could read more about this. This is pretty standard. It works on mildew, mites, aphids, stink bugs, all that. So, and uh, shake it up and there's your organic pesticide. Now let's go spray it on some aphids. So we're out here in the hothouse, one of them. And uh, here in front of me is the peach boot jalokia plant and uh, it's pretty much got aphids all over it let's try to zoom in there if y'all have never seen them up close i have a video on just looking at them up close uh but yeah we're just gonna spray this plant just pump up your spray bottle and uh put it on a fine mist and make sure you spray on top and underneath because uh the aphids will be underneath too so i always do like this and spray underneath it uh, and then uh be sure to spray where they're at now this spray can be applied to a whole garden or just a specific plant. If you just have one that's barely infected, uh, just go ahead and spray it. I wouldn't really spray the whole plant if there ain't no need to. But you can, and it works great. Uh, there was kind of a little bit of soap left in this bottle from a last spray that I made, but uh, it's a good spray too. But this one I prefer with the oil because uh, it's organic. I mean, it, the bottle that I bought for 15, um, was the most rated organic pesticide over neem oil even. And all it was is canola oil. So, I mean, it's crazy that people pay so much for organic pesticide when they can just make it at home for a few bucks. I mean, it's that simple and easy. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please share. And uh, until next time.